well. So um, another organization came in, in, in Form 2, still second term. And this time round, they were, they were giving people um, soda and bread. So I went for the test. I mean, I was like, oh my God, this is my year. First term, there's soda and biscuit. Second term, there's another soda and bread. Why not? Yeah. So I went for the test. And um, mm, inside the counseling room, I remember the counselor didn't really tell me much. She just asked me, do you have a boyfriend? I said, no, I don't have a boyfriend. Remember, I'm from the village and all that as well. So I'm just sitting there and wondering, I mean, what are these things for and all that. And at the same time, I want to be so adventurous and all that. But then I was, I was an illiterate girl in a, in a very nice school at the same time. So I, well, I told her I don't have a boyfriend. And then she asked her, have you ever been tested before for HIV? I'm like, no, I've never been tested. So she said, double line means you're positive, single line means you're negative. I'm like, okay, then let's carry on. I'm not even thinking of those things that she's telling me. I don't know about double line and all that. She's harvesting my, my, my blood at the back of my mind. I'm like, when is this lady going to finish? So that I register my name there. The bread and soda is going to be over. So finally, after five minutes, the results are back. And uh, she asks me again. Do you remember how we interpreted? We say double line is positive, single line negative. I'm like, yeah, I remember. Okay. So then let's carry on. Here are your results. And when I was checking the test kits, it read double line. So that means that it was HIV positive. I remember that was in 2008. In 2008 is when we would see billboards of Ukimu Naua and all that. You know, it was such a huge deal, you know. So I'm seated here, I'm like, oh my God, I finally have this game, you know. It was such a, it, I don't know, I was so shocked. So, um, of course, I didn't believe that I was positive because, to be so honest, I had never been sexually active. All I had thought of my whole life was food, partly education, and like I said, I was living a good life, like someone who was not even an orphan, a total orphan, you know. So, uh... I, I I get out. Um, the counselor told me to now go. She, she didn't advise me on anything at all, at all. She just told me, okay, now you are, these are your results. Now you can leave. That's it. So then I went and um, I, I still, the silly head inside me still registered for the soda and bread still. Yes, yeah. so I had to actually take the soda and bread because that was the sole purpose of coming for the test. And I knew, oh my God, this is happening. But I thought to myself, no, uh, these results, maybe they're not true. You know, maybe they're not true. I mean, maybe she confused, she, you know, but then I saw everything. There's nothing like confusion. It was me and it was my blood sample and all that. So, um, I, te I, I went and told my best friend because I figured for me to still go and seek permission to the teacher that we always call, uh, I call my sister using their phone, you know, it's such a huge process. So I said, why not just tell my best friend who is right here with me in school? So I told her that I'm HIV positive and she's like, no, you're lying. So I used to joke a lot. So she thought I'm lying, you know. And during those days, they would do some paper. They had some paper, some very, very uh, small paper. And then they write your number, the number that you are, and then the status. Now mine read positive, then the number. So I told, I gave her the evidence, and she's like, wow, Fanny, it's true, you're positive, yeah. So, and she told me, you know what? I have aunts, I have people who are positive, and um, they're sailing through, you know. So don't worry, we are going to journey, journey with you all through. Don't even worry about it. So I'm like, I'm all relaxed. I'm not even thinking about ARVs and all that. At the back of my mind, I'm like, I'm still dreaming. Maybe I'm not positive, you know. 